Night number three of Thunder in the Valley, and it all comes down to Sweet Springs Motorsports Complex. The first two nights was at Valley Speedway, and it was outstanding racing action with the Lucas Oil Power Eye National and West Midget Leagues, as well as the Lucas Oil Power Eye Wingless Auto Racing Sprint League. With War, it was Xavier Doney going two for two on the weekend, and so far within the midget racing, it was Chase McDermott, and then last night, Carter Sarf picking up his first ever career feature win. It's a whole different night here tonight for our third straight night of racing action. And Nicole was able to catch up with some of the drivers earlier today to find their strategy going into the evening. Thank you, Alan. I'm here with Ricky Lewis. Ricky, you had a pretty exciting feature last night at Valley Speedway. Are you ready for tonight at another new track? Yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, like I said, my, my home's back in California and right next to Vento Raceway, and it's really small like this. But this is actually a little smaller, so I'm excited. Yeah, Valley was good last night. Um, all night from the heat race to the feature, I just feel like I was a little free. and. Uh, Definitely could have been tighter, and I feel like we would have had a better shot. We were really good at the beginning and then just kind of fell back, and I just had to run really, really hard, harder than I'd like to. And then uh, obviously when you run that hard on the curb, there's not much room for air. So just wish I would have been a little tighter. Yeah, that's right. So what brings you to Missouri this weekend? Uh, three nights of racing, at a, and honestly, I, I saw, you know, I was kind of looking at all the schedules on that sprint car ratings, and Sweet Springs, I know they run midgets here, and it, and it, it looks really cool, and I saw they were running non-wing cars here, and I kind of circled that one as one that I really wanted to go to, even if, even if it was, uh, you know, a mess, but uh, I just figured I really want to come and uh, run this racetrack, and it's really small, and I like small racetracks, and hopefully it gets up on the fence and not right around the bottom, so... Um, and then I saw Valley ran two nights before that, and I just all year I've kind of planned to come to these three races, and uh, and then I, obviously I want to try to come back for the Hockey later this year. That's great. Thank you so much, Ricky. I'm here with Andrew Felker. Andrew, we haven't seen you very much this year. Where have you been? Yeah, I say that's kind of ran a partial midget deal and then hurt the motor, so uh, kind of taking some time off from it. And now hopping in Tyler Roots's micro, uh, ran a couple weeks ago at the Throwdown here, and he hollered at me to come back and play some more. You excited to be so close to home tonight? Yeah, it's nice to race close to home. That's since I moved up to Delhi, this is kind of my home track now, and spent a lot of time out here with a lot of my customers on micros and stuff, and some of our midget customers. So it's nice to be close to home, sleep in my own bed tonight, but good to have some fun with some friends and family in the stands. That's great. Thank you so much, Andrew Felker. I'm here with Riley Kreisel of Warsaw, Missouri. Riley, you've ran a lot of laps here over the past several years. Are you excited to be back? Uh, yeah, this is where I grew up. Uh, coming since I've been six years old uh, racing. I've been coming here since the day I was born pretty much. Uh, I got to watch my whole family race here, grow up here. Uh, I've got, I don't know, there are probably a couple of people here that have quite a few laps, but I'd say I probably have the most laps anybody around this place. That, um, they've changed it a lot since I've been here, so I don't know how that'll play into to our program. Uh, we're still trying to get our midget kind of in the right direction, so that'll be kind of an eventful piece of the night and hopefully the sprint car just kind of goes smoothly. Are you and your crew ready to run double duty all night? Uh, I think so. Um, we always seem like we're ready and then we never are. So uh, we'll just kind of have to see how uh, how hot laps goes. will pretty much tell us how easy the night will be. Um, I got a lot of good people with me tonight. So uh, just make it a little, little less stressful. All right. Thank you so much. Riley Kreisel, Warsaw, Missouri. Thank you, Nicole. Great insight from all those drivers here tonight at Sweet Springs Motorsports Complex, and you can catch all the action with MAV-TV on Flow.